Jolly Thursday to you all. And man, it's felt like a long week. Thursday is finally here. We've got the March Madness Sweet 16 continuation of the tournament on tonight. Four games. And we're live with you until 7 o'clock here tonight. Until lock of TOC Madness. I had to play the long intro today. Uh, wanted, wanted, wanted to throw it back to the old TOC logo, where TOC originated. And man, it just gives me the vibes. Gives me the good vibes that we need here on Thursday afternoon. Shout out to you all tuning in uh, to the preview show here. Live until lock. Gonna rip open some packs. Gonna hit the exchange. Gonna take a look at the live stats page. I want to know what lineups you guys are setting, how you're feeling about these lineups. Uh, where do we think there might be some upsets it's been a crazy tournament. I was actually, I got a little bit of the the replays going here in the background. I was watching that Houston uh, game and man, that over, like how they got to overtime there. Houston's going to be playing pretty free. They got to feel like they, uh, they escaped uh, the madness of March there. And that last game in, in OT was, was such a wild finish. And the first two rounds were just phenomenal as always. The end of the first weekend is always a little bit of a letdown on Monday when the action finally ceases. And then Thursday gets here and it's awesome. But now we, we only have four games. We do have some overlap tonight. So you're going to be able to be tuned in to, you know, two games at once. There's a slight overlap. I, I know that was a little bit of a topic of conversation in our Discord today or uh, this week was, do the Sweet 16 games always start this late? I also thought that, there was always a bit of an afternoon game to sweat in this weekend. So I don't know where my, where my mind was there. I know some others were thinking that, but um, kind of fun that it doesn't start, doesn't kick off till or tip off, if you will, uh, until, until 7 PM. And yeah, going to be, going to be kind of crazy the next four to five hours, all college basketball, everything you got and more. Um, yeah. I want to know chat. How you feeling about your lineups? If, uh, if you, if, if you don't, if you want to share, let me know. I do want to take a look at the live stats page. We're going to go through uh, the some some top brackets. Also, the TOC bracket challenge, Jolly Joker up for grabs, future packs, the OTM games. Uh, the bracket challenge has been really fun. My lighting is crazy right now. Crazy. Uh, let's see this a little better. Um. So yeah, let, let me know. Let me know what you guys are feeling. We're gonna we're gonna hit some giveaways. We'll probably hit the giveaway around six thirty. I'll probably pop it up. 
here around six, start to collect some comments, hit the giveaway around six 30. That way everybody has a chance or, uh, the person who wins the giveaway has a chance to, uh, get locked and loaded before 7 PM. If that, if that ultimately impacts any of the lineups you have. So look for that around six 15, six 30. Um, Oh, I wanted, I wanted to hit off with this guys. Did you, did you guys, did you guys see this? Look, I made a big blunder. You guys probably saw it at this point. Um, but last week we were streaming before the games and I made a swap off of the chalk underdog pick in New Mexico to Clemson. I never clicked submit bracket, but I'm telling you guys that stream brain or interview brain, streaming brain, whatever you want to call it is definitely a real thing. Uh, I saw, I saw this earlier in the week. I don't know when I saw this, maybe, maybe yesterday, the day before. Um, but the, the background here is Sage Steele, e former ESPN analysts. I mean, has done hundreds, hundreds of th maybe thousands of, of interviews and of uh, been on camera live. She is, uh, interviewing Joe Rogan. Sorry. She's interviewing Dana White here and she, she slips up and she calls she calls Dana White Joe Rogan. Here, check this out. Check this out. I was cracking up. What's Joe Rogan's dream? What's Joe Rogan's dream? Joe Rogan, Dana White. <laughs> What's Dana White's dream? Did you just think I, totally I was Joe did. Rogan? I totally did. She just called me fucking Joe Rogan. You thought I was fucking Joe Rogan? Yeah, I thought you were Joe I was Rogan. bald no. before Joe was ever I bald. Know. Okay. I know. Man, that clip absolutely cracked me up. And it was, she was so professional about it. She didn't try to like hide it. She was like, I totally, I totally did. And then she owned the fact that it was because they're two bald white dudes. I mean, they definitely look quite similar, but I'm telling you interview brain stream brain. It's a, it's a real thing, man. It, it happens. I, I've, I've done it many, many times. It's all about getting those reps in man. all about getting those reps in. So uh, the more reps, the better. If, uh, if I make a mistake, if I say something crazy on here, Someone in chat, correct me, man. Someone, someone tell me what's going on. So, um, yeah, that, that, I found that, I found that pretty, pretty, pretty funny here. So I want, I wanted to, uh, wanted to share. Um, all right, where do we want to start? Um, let's take a look at the current contest and see where we're sitting with entrance payouts. Let me zoom in here. Can you guys see this? All right, I think we're pretty good there, man. We it's it's the exchanges have been crazy. The 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 thrill packs have gone crazy. We're almost at a hundred lineups less than we had in the first contest. In the first contest, with all sixty four teams in, we had seven hundred and twenty five entries. I want to say this contest all the way up to six hundred and eleven entries. We've got fifty five thousand gold, ten thousand more gold than there was up for grabs uh, last week. Up for grabs this week. Let's take a look at the breakdown here. First prize, taking home 10,000 gold, uh, take, taking home a nice 1K payout, and then low payout here all the way down to 50th, 350 gold. Pretty pretty solid payout here all the way down through 50th. And, and then, you know, I think the, the thrill packs and the, and the snack packs have been a pretty big hit, mostly because that prize pool keeps going up, and you're getting more cards in your accounts, in, in your collection, so you have maneuverability flexibility to uh make your lineups ahead of the last slate which will be for the uh final four and then ultimately the championship game should be a wild slate for that one will be very interesting to see uh how many lineups we have in there it's going to be a little bit of a serial game i have to imagine going to be going to be getting different and unique in uh in many places there so uh should be pretty fun there but 51st through 150th taking home that thrill pack that's going to be a sweet 16 thrill pack so thrill packs will be back as soon as contest number two locks, throw packs will be back. They will include all of the sweet 16 teams. They will not have any jokers in them this time. In the first set of throw packs, jokers were in there. These throw packs will not have any jokers in there. Uh, but you're gonna get you're gonna get four cards from all, any of the teams that played in the sweet 16. Uh, so best of luck out there playing the pack roulette game. And then 150. One through 200 final four snack pack. Going to get one card from the four teams remaining. Should be, should be really fun. Um, I don't know. We're going to look at the games here. I, it, I, it seems like the chalk is still pretty strong. Um, I saw John boy beats had, 
uh, an incredible record here betting uh, March Madness and shout out to him. Always, always coming at us with the data, had some nice information about uh, upsets that he liked. He is on Alabama over my Tar Heels, uh, but plus four and a half. So Tar Heels could certainly win, lose by, uh, win by three, win by two, some, some close game. Expect uh, the game late night tonight. Uh, let, let's take a look at the schedule here for tonight. Uh, expect the game late night tonight to be one of the best games. Illinois, Iowa State, one and a half point favorite for Iowa State, two, three seed. I think this is going to be a breaker, game breaker here at the top of the TOC bracket. A lot of differentiation, usually at this game, at this spot. Uh, probably a good split. I know, I know Herzig has Iowa State winning it all, so he wants Iowa State happening tonight. I don't know how many people picked Iowa State. Uh, so a little bit different and unique there. But Illinois, Iowa State should be a pretty good game. Might be a little low scoring, though. Uh, Iowa State, I believe, has uh, solid defense, plays a little slower, so might be a little low scoring. Um, the other games, we kick it off with Clemson, Arizona. Man, just staring, staring at that matchup, knowing on stream that I flipped over to Clemson. Had Clemson beating Baylor as well. It's a little bit of pain, man. S such pain. Click the submit button, Coop. Click the submit button. Come on. Um, Clemson, Arizona. Not many people giving Clemson a chance at this point. Uh, but, man, hot hands. We know the darlings of North Carolina State have been the hot hands for the last two weeks. Three, going on three weeks at this point. Um, all the way through the ACC tournament. Winning that. Winning their first two games. Making it here to the sweet 16 so uh they play tomorrow but yeah these four games sh should be fun ones yukon uh dominating performance in the first couple of rounds all the all the one seeds honestly pretty dominating performance purdue looked really good i know neil was in the discord saying that if he had a chance to to run it back or rerun it he would have gone purdue as the champion purdue has that massive seven foot guy i want to take a look at purdue rebounds i know uh we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the stat breakdowns where people are going with the hero card saw a lot of defense and assists uh, kind of being the two cards, the two slots, two stats that led the way scoring wise. So I do expect that the sharps that are tuning into the show that are paying close attention to the game that are using, you know, recent history. I do expect a lot of, a lot of those people to be jamming defenses and assists into the hero slot. Uh, even a couple of my buddies who, you know, Hey man, if you're friends with me, we're probably not the sharpest tools in the shed. They were like, Hey man, you got to jam assist card into uh, you got to jam assist card into that hero spot. They're going to score the most going to get that 1.25 X bonus. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see points points might be a little sneaky in the hero rounds, uh, or in the hero slot this round, although the matchups are going to be tougher. Right. I think uh, Purdue had a, over 100. That Florida game went both teams of Florida, Colorado, that they went both teams over 100. Alabama went over 100. I guess this North Carolina Alabama game certainly could certainly could push the envelope in terms of uh, an over 174.5 uh, here, according to ESPN bet. So the highest by far uh, on the slate. Yeah. UConn expected to run run san diego state out of the gym minus 11 and a half 136 total super low total uh i don't know somebody else somebody else can do the quick math on what the score would be there uh but yeah should be pretty low scoring there yukon defense might be pretty pretty high up there yukon assist was uh a very very nice card in the first round i believe as well um all right so that's that's the matchups for tonight tomorrow where are, we, where are we at? Put the right day here. Uh, tomorrow, we've got NC State, the Darlings against Marquette, Gonzaga, Purdue. I, I, this game is going to be a really good game. Uh, Gonzaga, just a wagon of a call of a college basketball program. Uh, that coach, I don't. How long's that coach been there, man? Felt like he's felt like he's been there for a long time. Uh, but they, they kind of just know how to win when it comes to tourney time. Duke Houston should be another fantastic game. Like I said, Houston probably playing a little bit free though. Um, kind of playing loose. And when you can play loose, you're going to probably play better. So I, th I think they'd be playing pretty loose. And then Creighton, Tennessee, uh, really excited for this one as well. Two and a half point that two, the two, three matchups should be, should be really, really fun games. I like that. They put those to a bookend both Thursday and Friday here. So should, should be fun. We'll see what, see what we get from winners, but let's go over and take a look at live scoring. TJ and I covered this on the Tuesday show. Um, so as you can see, come over to live. 
so you can go live scoring here, live stats. Uh, then change this. You ch you change this guy to round one and round two. So change your drop down to round one and round two. That'll give you the breakdown. Shout out Neil. Someone also asked if they could get cumulative scores here, and this guy this guy made it happen. Uh, so you can get cumulative or game by game. Uh, but if we take a look at game by game, Purdue assists at the top, uh, 145 points scored. Defense Marquette, Colorado assists, Utah State defense. Alabama defense, Grand Canyon defense. I mean, just so many defensive cards with uh, singular scores in the top here. So the seven points for blocks and steals, just super, super valuable. Uh, but I was also looking at the bottom end here, 15 points uh, from a, uh, let's go, re let's go defense. I saw 28, right? Yeah. 28 for defense at the bottom end of the spectrum and then assists 15. So I would have thought that we would have seen higher assists at the bottom of the spectrum as a, as a bigger spread, but uh, maybe a couple outlier performances here. What's what's defense? Definitely, definitely up there. So I don't know, man, defense might be the play in the hero spot. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Taking a peek in discord too, see if we can get some chatter in there, but uh, let us, let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what cards you guys are using. I, I honestly, I'm trying to think of, we should probably build a, a lineup on this show. What what cards? What cards would I want to be using? What's an optimal? What's an optimal use of cards here? Rebounds, uh, kind of kind of probably been the the lowest point total. So if anything, I think TJ said this on the Tuesday stream. You don't want to be you want to be using rebounds uh, in in the hero spot. You definitely would be unique though. Uh, and I expected Purdue to be at the top here. Actually, I didn't even look, so I'm looking right now. I expected Purdue to be at the top mostly because they got a seven footer, right? Uh, that guy is just an absolute beast. Seems like the, the engine that, that motors Purdue. So if that guy's cruising, then, uh, look for them to put up a lot of rebounds, 46 rebounds, uh, 44, uh, pretty tight spread at the top. What's the low for rebounds? 28 would expect these to be 15, 16 seeds. Yep. Yale gets the win, but only gets 20 rebounds. Wow. Must've shot the lights out. Uh, and then let's take a look at points here. Top of the points. Like we said, yeah, Bama scored 100, 109, Purdue 106, Colorado and Florida 102 and 100 respectively. Uh, yeah, so we only had five outcomes here. Crack 100. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. There's not that many cards out there, right? Um, there's really just not that many cards. So I don't think you really have to worry about getting unique here or, or playing too cute. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm famous for that playing DFS. Sometimes you just get way too cute and you think people are going to, you, you, everybody kind of lives in a bubble, right? And this bubble, you know, people that are listening to the stream, people that are listening to the show, it's probably such a small percentage of people, right? In general, there's 611 entries in this contest. How many people just kind of fired their lineups in? I, I think a lot of people probably. So, yeah, I think I would end up going defense in uh <clears throat> in my hero slot. Shout out Cookless Cars, man. He's going full boomer defense wins championships. Uh, yeah, I like it. I I really like it. I think it I think it probably makes the most sense. Um, and you're just you're just kind of playing a mismatch, right? Connecticut defense, Purdue defense. Um. Obviously, Marquette played pretty good defense against Western Kentucky. Cle Marquette Clemson. What's that line again? Oh, sorry. Marquette NC State. Six and a half point line. Oh, man. I got I like NC State here, but uh that's just because I've fallen in love with that number 30, man. That guy underneath the hoop is is so good to watch, so fun to watch. Um they're gonna be able to get blocks and steals, probably based on past results, probably. But how many are they going to be able to get? Who knows? We'll see. Um, Alabama defense. Alabama against, again, UNC. One of the better teams in the tournament. One seeds. All the one seeds. Hanging around. Mm, going to be going to be tough, I think. Alabama, UNC should be a very fun, entertaining basketball game, though, because you know, from just watching Alabama, from what I had heard about Alabama, they want to kind of run. They want to push it. They want to score. UNC certainly can score. Should be a very fun, 
Very, very fun college basketball game. <clears throat> um, so what would my what would my lineup be? What would my lineup be? Um Well, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go UNC points, but I wouldn't use in the hero. I just go UNC points. I need to write this down so that so we can see how this thing so we can see how this thing grades out, you know? That's what I need to write down right now. Okay, UNC points. Mm -hmm. Let's go lobby. If we were to enter this. Mm -hmm. I'd go UNC points. I would go Purdue rebounds. UNC points. Purdue rebounds. UConn assists. Let's go back to this. Let's go back to this live stats page. Let's see what this looks like. Let's take a look at this cumulative. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going UConn assists, even though Purdue assists up there pretty good. I like UConn assists here. Purdue rebounds. Who are we playing on defense, man? Collectively, Grand Canyon defense has scored the most or did score the most across two games. 245 points. That's a wild outcome. I think I saw that they were like 0.8, like literally one, one or two teams had Grand Canyon defense. So they're like 0.8% used. Wild. Um, Duke defense is up there. Houston defense is up there. They played overtime, though, so they got some more time in. Hmm. Everything in me says, and by everything in me, I mean the bracket that I filled out, so my rooting interest, uh, wants to pick Illinois. Where did Illinois defense land here? Let's see. 133, so low. Mm. Makes me want to just go Iowa State, man. I'm just going to go Iowa State. Go Iowa State defense. And then what would I use for my hero, man? Gonna, I'm going to fade. I, mean, I, I think I, I said that I would probably go defense, but maybe I'll just go assist and pray for uh, pray for points. UNC points, UNC assists. Stack that up. I think that's what I would do. All right, so my, my, uh, my lineup, if I could enter any card into this contest, UNC assists in the hero, UNC points, Purdue rebounds, UConn assists, UConn assists in the assist slot and Iowa State defense. Take it for what it's may. Take it for what you may. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll grade it. We'll grade it in next week's show. Um, yeah, I mean, use this. Use this research, guys. I, I think it's so cool that Neil's been able to kind of put the stats together. The biggest thing about these games uh, and our games in general, honestly, is anytime you're playing a new fantasy contest, Anytime you're sort of stepping into something new, the biggest thing and the biggest reason to be excited about playing is edge, right? Uh, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you are playing out there on DraftKings or FanDuel and chasing down those big prize pools. And it's super fun to do that. I, I, I myself play a decent bet. I've played much less this year, just focused on the stuff that we've got going on. But I play a decent bet on DraftKings and have for years. Uh, but it's so difficult. You're up against so many professional people you're up against so many people like herzig who can just do 
math on the fly, who studies and and puts so much time and effort into this. Honestly, it takes time, effort, and energy to win these games. And uh, we try to take uh, the casual player into consideration with everything that we build. And I think there's still edge here, though. That's that's the solid point. And if you if you take a look at the people that, you know, uh, I'll use him because he's in chat here about uh, Cookless Cards. Uh, other people that, that are tuned into the shows, uh, the other people that are analytical, you see their names quite a bit near the top of the leaderboard. It's kind of like the poker game, right? The weekly poker game. Tell you what, there's a lot of repeat winners in that in that weekly poker game. So, uh, yeah, you, know, you you gotta you gotta prepare yourselves to to take down these contests. You gotta beat 611 people right now. Do we got any more? Get your lineups in, boys. Get your lineups in. We got uh one hour, one hour nine minutes. Gonna put, gonna tip at 7:09. So one hour, nine minutes, we're already up to 645 entries. You got to beat 644 lineups to take down 10 K gold. So uh, you got, you got to do, you got to do the work. It takes, it takes a little bit of work or you just got to get lucky. Right place, right time. Life is sometimes about getting lucky. Um, What else do you want to cover? Oh, I want to cover this marketplace. Low ask of marketplace. Oh, look at these jokers at the top. If anyone wants to make that Joker buy, mm, pretty pricey. Pretty pricey to buy a Joker. And no other ways to get a Joker, though, other than the uh, the the current the current thrill packs. That's it. After this contest locks, Jokers will be locked out. So if you... What up, Glip? Glip says, JM, love the new format. Can def play edge or casual? Yeah, I completely agree. And if you're willing to just do a little bit of work, tune into the shows. There's definitely some edge to be had. So uh, I wanted to look at low ask though. Low ask in the marketplace. Two gold. Two gold. If you're out there, if you're buying packs, I mean, just trying to conserve your gold here. If, if you need ease of use, there's $25 packs available. You're, you are building the, the prize pool, but you could go scoop five cards for 10 gold. Less than, uh, well, not I guess not exactly. Yeah, exactly 10 gold. 13 no sorry you need five right any eliminated cards in your in in your uh in your account but then if you had to scoop five cards two four somebody help me do math 10 right 14 <coughs> 14 gold and that's just this so there's probably multiple listings here looks like there's multiple listings at three gold so roughly 10 gold and then uh trade those in for your 99 gold and then you ultimately have yourself a sweet 16 pack. So uh, just be cognizant of ways in which you can uh, acquire new packs for this game if you're out there looking for cards. Uh, but yeah, you do have packs available. Buy a packs page, sweet 16 pack, 25 bucks, 250 gold. Throw packs still out there for five bucks. And then the exchange is the other way, right? So any five cards, uh, we did this on Tuesday, buy five, ex five cards eliminated. You pop those cards in here, any ones that you want to exchange. You then exchange for 99 gold, and you get yourself a sweet 16 pack. So if you're looking for a little edge, you can definitely use Marketplace to, to scrape together five cards and keep that pack price under the 250 gold. Now, getting pretty close to almost identically the same price. So uh, ease of use, I completely understand. But just wanted people to know that that, that option is out there. And um, the exchange will be back once these 16, sorry, eight games are played. Uh, the exchange will be back then for the final contest, the final four and the championship game. And yeah, it's going to take a whole new strategy for that one, which I think is really fun. Uh, I think these first two contests will play pretty similarly, maybe a little bit more strategy here in this second contest. But when we're down to four teams, it's definitely going to play entirely different than the first two contests. So New set of strategy. We're going to get, uh, I'm sure Justin's been already working and thinking. Uh, you know, Justin and TJ play a lot of fantasy and have played a lot of fantasy where there's a ton of overlap. And when there's overlap, how to attack it. So tune in next week. I'm sure there's going to be some edge to be had whenever there's a lot of overlap, how to get different, how to get unique and things like that. So it should be, should be pretty fun. If you got low cereals, you definitely want to be hoarding those. A cereal um cumulative cereal will break tiebreakers so lower the cereal the better off you end up being across your five cards um bum, 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 bum. 
what else do we want to cover? Activity. Let's see what's lately been. Pool, JT's living the dream. Speaking of JT's living the dream, he's sitting at the top. It tied for first in the TOC bracket. He's got UNC as his winner. Which one of these is, J is JT's? This is Kaka at you. Shout out Kaka at you, man. The guy's absolute beast. He's 99.4%, 510 points. And he's got the chalk. He's got UConn winning it all. Uh, his elite, sorry, his sweet 16, UConn, San Diego State, Houston Duke. Uh, uh. UNC, uh, NC State, Marquette, Illinois, Iowa State. What else he got? Did he get out? He got all these. Literally, almost got them all. Had Baylor here, so he got that wrong. What else did he miss? Literally, didn't. That's the only one he missed. Insane, insane bracket. Oh no, he missed NC State. So he had more. He had uh, he had Kentucky. So like many many people had Kentucky here, um, all the way there. So there's only two misses. Insane, uh. But he's got final four. What's he have? How do I tell here? Oh, okay. His pick Connecticut over UNC, Houston over Tennessee, and then he has Connecticut winning. So Connecticut Houston championship game there. I mean, that's just such a good bracket. And uh JT's living the dream right behind him. 99.4% as well. He's got UNC as his winner pick. So let's see. Also had UConn, San Diego State. Also had Houston. Had JMU over Duke. So missed that one. Also <clears throat> had UK. Oh, he had UK. He has Kentucky all the way here to his Elite Eight. So that's gonna be that's gonna be a little tough there. A little hard to follow this, quite frankly. Down here, it looks pretty perfect. UNC. Alabama, Purdue, Gonzaga, Creighton, Tennessee, missed the Clemson, Baylor, had to, had the New Mexico run. Man, this one still pains me, guys. I hate to say it. This one still pains me. It will always pain me. It will haunt me. But um, a couple other people that are live here. Uh, I was looking at the top. Surefire, 97.5. He's unique that he's got Houston. He got Houston winning his final four is, where are we at here? Connecticut over Arizona, Houston over Tennessee. Then he's got Houston over Connecticut. So this is going to, Surefire is going to come down to Kaka at you. They both have Connecticut, Houston in the championship game. Surefire's got Houston. So uh, should be fun there to see. Going to be a sweat all the way down to the wire. Then Mark Mitch, 97.5% as well. He's got Arizona. So he's the top of the board with Arizona right now. His final four, Arizona over Iowa State. Duke over Creighton. So very different, very unique than most, I would say, at this point. So his bracket still stands a chance to be at the top of the mark here by the end of the weekend. I mean, insane brackets, y'all. Insane. Literally multiple people with 99% brackets. And then I think there was like 10 people that were in that like 97, 96 range. So very much still alive. A uh, lot of movement can happen. There's a lot. There's a lot of college basketball to go. I feel pretty good about a couple different brackets that I'm in, but I keep trying to remind myself. Usually I'm just waxed by this point, right? Usually I've either lost a champion, lost somebody in the final four. You don't really have to worry about it. So it's been a long time since I've had a little March Madness sweat and did pre pretty good, but there's still so much basketball to be played. Uh, so many people that can chase uh, points possible is what you want to be looking at here. Not exactly. You don't need to be too focused on correct picks you you want to be looking at points possible and who else has your champion of course so uh should be should be fun maybe we'll go over a couple of my other brackets um all right looks like looks like i got a little guest here without further ado big man on campus welcome welcome to the show you were cooking Yo, what's my, uh what, what's my what's my screen sharing look like how how we how we vibe and how we move how cooking. we move around it, it looked good. It looked good. Although I, I only caught the last, like, since I went backstage, I, I missed the first half hour of the show. So I am coming in fresh. Don't even know what's been discussed yet, but, uh, lots of things, lots of things, Just discussing lots of things, but, uh, yeah, uh, I wanted, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, I wanted to review the brackets. How, how's your brackets looking? What, what you, what you got going on over there? You got well, Arizona is my champ. So I at least, okay have outs from that 
I think my brackets are fine. Let's see. I'm in, I'm in 11th in the um in the madness one in the OTM okay. one. But I, I had Auburn going pretty far. I had Auburn going to the final four, so that hurts. Oh, yeah, that definitely hurts. Yeah, so I don't hurt. think I'm gonna win anything. But if and not super unique and champion like Arizona, people have definitely yeah, picked Arizona. Arizona like you had not... you had something like a Creighton or you know some other ones that were super super low. Although no, nobody ahead of me has Arizona, so I think that can nah, that makes that, me live. Def definitely someone ahead of you. Mark oh Mitch no, number five, yeah, fifth place, Mark yeah. Mitch. Mark Mitch has Arizona. And they you are chase maybe you can still chase. He's got 490 yeah. possible or no, he's got 490. Currently you have 470 points possible. 1730 your points possible. 1590. 1590. Yeah. So, it might, yeah. might be, it might be dusted. Might well, be let's jobs. see who's their final four. They've uh, got bring it up. We were just looking. Uh, no, so, so I, I'm live. I'm live. Cause yeah, they got a wild one. They, they got have green and yeah, I have, they Purdue. have, Duke Creighton on the right side of the bracket. Duke over Creighton. Oh yeah, and I have I have Houston, so we have enough difference that I could I could pass him. Definitely, we're live, baby. We're live for that. That's what I'm saying, bigger. folks. Don't 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 uh don't get too crazy excited about your current positioning. And if you're down the leaderboard, you know there's still plenty of time to chase. Still plenty of time to chase. But yeah, some as you were saying, some pretty pretty sick brackets out there that are just. Hitting everything on point so far. Yeah. Wow. I mean, if you're a ninety nine percent bracket, it is crazy town, man. Absolutely crazy town. Um hopefully they have oh. those brackets and some big money stuff too. Let's put it let's it's six ten. I did say we were gonna do a giveaway. Uh so if if you're oh, in maybe. if you're in if you're in chat, get hashtag madness in there. Um hashtag madness. Oh, what do you want to give away? Are we giving away a thrill? Are we giving away what do we want to give away? Mm, you do yeah, let's do a thrill. Let's do a thrill. Yeah, I think a thrill is good. Thrills, thrills is good. We don't spot. we don't want to go crazy on people making them do last minute changes as well. So I wanted to pull yeah. like six thirty. Go with uh, the thrill in the, in the event that there's not too many, uh not too many wow, changes. Ogie shows day. up just in time for the giveaway. What is he? You got yeah, a yeah, you, yeah. you got a, a bot scra scraping the stream, Stogie. As soon as you hear giveaway, send your notification, pop in. Look, he's pretty easy to be trying to predict. Or did you already say hashtag madness? I already, uh, I already said that. hashtag madness. Oh, okay, but hashtag madness. Uh, I didn't see you put it on the screen yet, so I was like, "Man, they're they're we're getting productive." No, I, I didn't have it in there. I didn't have it on the screen yet. I I, I was uh, uh, I was I was a little quick on the trigger with my voice versus my screen share. You know, m my mouth goes faster than my fingers. Come on, man, you already know this. Um, yeah, hashtag madness. We'll rip this in like I don't know five or ten minutes or so. Uh, so get get your madnesses hashtag madness in the chats. Um. While, while we collect those comments, I want you to start thinking about this. I'll tell you what my team was, but when went a little old school. We did the old school intro. We had the old school TOC logo in the intro. And then I started thinking about the all jokers lineup that we used to do for TOC on the football oh, side. Baby. Of and I was like, oh, let me see off the rip, like off the dome. What would I go with? What would my lineup be? Mm. And you know me, I always have a little Homer in me. I always got a little, you know, not going too crazy. I was telling everyone, I was like, I would go assist or defense for sure. And the hero and Cuckless was like, I'm going defense, defense wins championships. And I said, I was like, you know, I think I would go defense too. And then I, of course, as I was on the spot making my decision, I swapped. But my, my lineup would have been, my, my lineup is, my all jokers lineup is UNC assist in the hero UNC points expect UNC Alabama to be pretty high scoring up and down the floor. Purdue rebounds. Just let the seven foot man do his thing. Grabbing rebounds everywhere. UConn assists in the assist slot, the one X assist slot, and then Iowa state defense. So that was my all jokers lineup. And I said, we'll have to review this mm. on next week's show to see, see where I would have finished. I'm sure given any history, of our performance of the all jokers teams, it'll finish, you know, 422nd or something like that. Sounds about right. Yeah. I like, like the calls there. Yeah. That North Carolina, Alabama game with an insanely high total looking at the lines <laughs> again. Now I know we reviewed them. I'm sure that was probably yeah, part we, of the reason we, why we took a look at it. We took a look at them. it. So tonight's lines, I think there's another one though. The, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. So that is the one 174.5. Total 
I was yeah. I was shocked by that UConn line, one thirty six point five and eleven point favorites. And I was I was telling chat somebody got to do the math on what the final score the prediction is there, but sheesh, pretty low scoring when it comes down to yeah, the other the scoring. other the other uh, the other games on the slate. Oh, that's got it. Pretty that's pretty like seventy to sixty, something like that. Seventy two to sixty, seventy four to see 60, chat. 74 to 62. I told you one of these guys. Would yeah, that's able, what it is. You know, right? Rattle it off. 74 yeah. to 62. Boom. Sound, sounds right. Oh, since wait, since you're here, I got I got to play this. There's more people in the chat too. You know, I I was talking about how my blunder and, you know, stream stream brain and the way it's easy to make mistakes. Did you see the the Sage Steel Dana White thing? Nope. What's that? Oh man. Do you, okay. First, let's level set. Do you know who Dana who's White Sage, is? Who's Sage Steele? I know who Dana White is. Okay, Sage Steele, former ESPN anchor and analyst. I mean, probably has thousands oh, yeah, of yeah. hours. I, I know who she is. I, I recognize her. Thousands of hours under her belt, on camera, interviewing people, like prepping, Confused doing this Dana stuff Dana White over and over. or Joe Rogan? Yeah, so, so wait, you got you got to listen to this. Is that, what, is that what we're about talking about? Just two bald, white Joe bald Rogan. guys? Dream. What's Joe Rogan's dream? Joe Rogan, Dana White. <laughs> What's Dana White's dream? Did you just think I, I totally was Joe did. Rogan? I totally did. <laughs> she just called me fucking Joe Rogan. You thought I was fucking Joe Rogan? Yeah, I thought you were Joe I Rogan. I was bald no. before Joe was ever I know, bald. Okay? I know. Hey, listen to me. Joe I mean, just so good, man. Just so good. And she's so professional. She just quickly owns it and says, you know what? Like, I did. Yeah, I did. And then wow, just sits down for and an then covers it up and... by the fact that like he's like, oh, I just look like Joe Rogan, which like, honestly they, they don't they look pretty similar, you know. It's definitely yeah, awesome. I mean, just bald rich white guys. <laughs> I cracked up. That's but hilarious. I was I was referring to the blunder that I had. I was referring to the fact that I think I don't know, three weeks ago on stream, like two days after Russ Wilson signed with my Steelers, I didn't know who was playing quarterback for the Steelers. Stream brain, man. It happens, you know, you need reps. Need the reps, baby. Who is going to play right. quarterback for the Steelers? Russell Wilson? Why do they have both of them? Yeah, I What's think the uh, we got a little going a little rogue getting both. Then we got uh, I can't remember the dude from the dude from uh, Carolina, white dude a Allen. I want to say uh, is his last name. I can't. I'm not I'm blanking on his first name as a third quarterback. So I don't know, man. We're we're filling up the QB room. Tomlin's trying to throw it back room. and just have old school QB battles, like it's high school football or something. I guess, yeah, I guess. I, uh, I apparently Russ Wilson is the nod to get the start is what, or will start camp as like the one over fields. I just, there's no chance they don't both play at some point in time, like and likely, even possibly playing two quarterbacks. But it seems oh insane. My. Nothing says it nothing seems insane. Says you don't know what to do as an organization than even having the chance of maybe maybe we're gonna play two quarterbacks. That here we go, play. guys. That's you heard it here. TJ saying the Steelers have no clue what they're doing. I mean, this is classic, classic, classic. Mike Tomlin, old school coach. It's like uh, my, Super Bowl my, my Flyers right now with Tortorella, like probably two weeks ago now. Well, they go a whole season and a half without naming a captain. He names Sean Couturier the captain. And then a couple weeks after that, healthy scratches the guy that he now named the captain. Like, come on, this 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 is not high school. Like, you don't do that in in professional sports, is how I view it. So I think sometimes these old school coaches get a little uh they, they want to have their their hands in the pot and they want to be involved. And so they do these things that are not going to help your team win games. Anyways, that's you know what, what it think. does? You know what it does? Creates drama. Creates There's headlines. no other reason anyone's going to be talking about the Steelers. So I guess it, it creates, creates that. headlines, baby. It creates headlines. That's, that's Absolutely. part of the job. Part of the job. And I'm still uh, not to go too crazy into this. I'm still a big believer. And the fact of the matter is say what everyone about Tomlin. Many, many guys in the league have a good relationship with Tomlin. You see Tomlin kind of being buddy, buddy with guys. Like guys want to play for Mike Tomlin. Many people have said it. Many people that are Hall of Fame players have said it. And uh, I think that's part of the reason why the Steelers have been able to get some of these players that I never thought they'd be getting. So it should be a wild year for the Steelers. I mean, they're a completely different football team, not even remotely close to the same football team and should be fun. I know the hype is 
the hype is up around the around the, wow, the town. There's for hype. Sure. Everyone's Let's excited. Go. Steelers Everyone's excited. hype, baby. Yeah, that hasn't been that way in the last Super Bowl. Of years, man. Let's go. It hasn't been that way. We'll see what happens. All right, give us give us your pick here. Who are you going? On the spot. Can you do okay, it? Yeah, this is my all, all Joker groups. team. All right. I think I'm gonna start with hero Purdue assist because that chalk, seems okay. to be the chalkiest card. And all right, so how did TJ get here, guys? We already like did the stream there. once, but we went live stat. He went live stats. He went last week. He said, "Who had the most assists? Who had the most points That's in the, the whole point. entire game?" Chalk, and maybe. it is Purdue assist. And I think they had the highest average preseason too. When you were looking at, when I was looking at the marketplace, if I recall, uh, UConn was up there, but I believe Purdue was up there as well. Yeah. I can't remember who was first, but you, they're definitely up there for sure. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Purdue assist. Okay, I'm gonna go with what do I want as my defense? Because I think that's the next most important card. Where's the Yukon defense at? Yukon uh, my 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 no research was going to be Yukon defense. They have not been scoring a ton of points, but I'll go the Yukon defense. Okay, Yukon defense, okay. Low scoring game, lopsided matchup, most lopsided matchup on the slate. I like it. So I'm going to go with the Yukon defense. I'm going to go North Carolina points. Okay. Chalky, I like it. Take advantage of that. High scoring total. And then I need rebounds. And you need the second assist. Oh, that's right. That's right. Hmm. Rebounds. Let's go with my my Arizona. My guy's Arizona. Arizona rebounds. Yeah, I got no correlation here, which I don't know if I... Arizona rebounds, and then let's also go UConn assists. Or sorry, sorry, North Carolina assists. So stacking UConn points with UConn assists. Jesus, I said it wrong. North Carolina, <laughs> you UNC, got it. North Carolina got points, North Carolina assists. Like that stack there. It's probably better <laughs> logic to have one of them be the hero, but that's okay. We're sticking with Purdue assist as the hero. That'd be my squad. All right, we're gonna see who scores better between TJ and I. I love Ooh, it. I like it. I like it. Um, all right, let's rip a giveaway here, and then behind the scenes, I'm gonna do some some work. Get your madnesses in. If you're watching on the X stream, you're gonna gotta cut. You gotta come over to the YouTube stream. When's X gonna integrate commentary here? When's X gonna integrate? They can. You can. Here? You can. Oh, you can. all right. You can enter. I actually let me try because you. I, fit, I learned this when I was on with Tandy. Oh, we do it live. You can, you can, um, you can do it. We do it live. How, how, how? Okay. okay so you have to watch you. The streams on both Twitters. So you click here, you click it, you got to click into it and then you can go here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Apparently that works. Did it, did it just change to yeah. eight? Uh, yep, it changed. So if you want two, if, if you grinders out there want two entries, you can really start to mess with us and enter it like on every Twitter, which is going to get. Why'd you say that? So maybe don't do that. But that's yeah, why'd you say thought that? that I just had. Sheesh. Always got to be trying to find exploits, baby. <laughs> but yeah, apparently you can do that. I I never knew that until Tandy said it when I was on the stream with him. Because I think yeah, like I'm I'm curious if anyone out there really watches like it says 116 people are watching live on x i i am very curious how that gets determined D and what TJ that wants to know the algorithm man this yeah, guy's elon, dissecting algorithms. elon how does that work but yeah you can enter there apparently it looks like people were buy sell trading as well oh look at that we got another x we got another x account hitting the madness chat so that that screen share is helpful right there um Looks like buy, sell, trade in the Discord. Link to the Discord is in the description of the YouTube video. Buy, sell, trade is is lit up. Looks like some people giving away some cards that they didn't want for top shot moments. Looks like some people trading last minute. Looks like some people kind of getting their hero situation 
all settled and solved. So trading available on platform as well. And uh, yeah, get over in the Discord. That's where most of the chatter is from the community side of things. All right, let's uh, let's rip this thing because it is 623. And this thrill pack, I have a feeling, is going to have some good cards in it. And people are going to be shuffling around their lineup. So best of luck to the 10 of you all. Good luck, good luck. I have two of the 10 for the record. DJ can't win, so. I got two of the 10. That's classic. On X, on X. That's classic. Two of the ten, baby. Giveaway. Exploit. What do you guys want to do? My new what do you master, guys do? My you new want, master. You want to give? You want to give TJ a thrill pack right now, and then have him open it, and then pick the best card from it, or you guys want to just pull again? What do you guys want to do? We only got ten people. Right Let's pull time. again. Then we don't have to make Neil do something. True. True. Good point. <laughs> Drawing again. What if I win again? You you're pretty lucky, so it's possible. Dan Cookless. Hi, right, Dan. Dan was first one in on the stream, I think, right? Oh yeah. All besides oh, me. Yeah. So maybe that's the key. You got to give early JMs <clears throat> to the to the algo if you want to win that YouTube giveaway. All right, uh, Dan, your pack it's about to be in your account i know you're here i know you're going to change your lineup based on this pack so give me a second here give me a second thrill pack is in your account sir Congrats. Good luck ripping. Congrats. Hopefully get a nice rip out of that. How many entries right. are we up to in the contest? 654. Yeah, 654. We're nice. six, Almost a third of people are going to gonna at least be getting the pack out of it prize-wise. Yeah, we were 610 when the stream started, and I think people are are jamming still. So 653, wow, I think I saw. We got a couple of heavy hitters in there too. Did you see? Did you look at that earlier? What are we looking at? TDD Penguin has 49 lineups. El Jefe has 45. Yeah, 45. Hold on. Let's let's make this smaller a little bit so we can see. They're just blasting off. Love it. 45, 49. Stogie in the chat, 22. Who else? Who's all, who else got a fair number of bullets as a runners in this thing? That's a hundred, close to a hundred entries right there. 10. Bunch of people with 10, 9, 2s and 3s, 9s and 10s, and a couple heavy hitters with between 20 and 40. I mean, you, you kind of like that spread, man. You kind of like that spread. Um, yeah, you can cover a lot of the board with like 40 lineups, I feel like. Pretty, yeah, pretty I guess it would. amount of permutations. I guess it would depend on uh, your cards, obviously, but I think you have you have a fair share of stacks and ways to get pretty correlated with the teams that you're building if you've got that many cards. For sure. six fifty three, fifty five thousand gold. We did cover we did cover the breakdown. Ten k gold up top. Every other spot outside of that first place spot is an uptick in gold from last week's payouts. So we had 10,000 more gold that we distributed all to places two through 50. Um, so should be in a uh, good, sh good shape with a nice performance to take home a solid chunk of gold. Um, what, what, why do we, what do we think is, I mean, I keep going back to the games, right? I mean, I think San Diego State today would be the most unlikely win just based on totals. But, I mean, nobody gave Clemson a chance to even beat the number 11, New Mexico. They just beat Baylor. I know you're on Arizona, so you're, you're, you're biased. But, I mean, Clemson would be a pretty unlikely, I would think. You like Clemson? I just should think be, they're probably playing game. pretty well. Probably playing pretty well. Yeah, I think all the games are going to be good. I really like the fact that they did the two, three games as the bookend games. The lot, the these the Thursday night and and Friday night. 
because I think they're just, I mean, just based on the point spread should be, should be the best two games. This game going to be a little lower scoring uh, than I think tomorrow's when I looked Creighton and Tennessee. Oh no, about, about the same. So pretty, pretty similar two and a half point spread here. One and a half point spread on tonight's game, but I'm really excited for the two, three game. And I think this two, three matchup going to change a lot of brackets. I mean, a lot of people had, Tennessee making a little bit of a run, if not to the final four, all the way to the championship game. I didn't see many Creighton. So I think Creighton is on the, uh, on the low side. If you're doing like a re-bracket right now, I have to imagine Creighton's going to be uh, a sizable, there should be a sizable difference if I, if I would guess uh, on, on Creighton versus Tennessee. Yeah. Duke is just such a big name that like Houston played such a close game in their last one. Duke is a big enough name that they're going to get people to pick just right down Duke. So I just feel like Creighton is such an underrated position. And the same thing kind of with Gonzaga over Purdue, like Gonzaga is a relatively known name in college basketball. If you pay attention at all, have made many a runs to the final four, even the championship game. Yeah. Purdue has looked really good, but somebody brought this up in our discord, like Purdue lost to Wisconsin who got absolutely throttled in the first round, like three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. So, I mean, clearly they could play a bad game. They kind of rely on that big guy. I mean, Gonzaga can certainly give them a game, if not take them to the wire and beat them. Uh, and then, I don't know, man, I'm just not betting against the, the hot hand of NC State. They've beat every single team they've played the last seven games. Uh, and and the likes of those teams are Duke, UNC. Uh, who did they play in the first round? Yeah, I mean, I, I could see them keeping the run going. Only six and a half point dogs, too, to Marquette. Texas Tech. Uh, they did get lucky, I guess, here with Oakland. So, I mean, they didn't have to beat Kentucky, but Oakland kind of took it to Kentucky and they took it to Oakland. They had six point wins. It was a close game, but I mean, they could definitely seemingly beat Marquette. I haven't followed it close enough to what Justin and Justin were saying with like the Marquette injuries. I, I mean, Marquette beat Western Kentucky pretty handily and then had a close game with Colorado, who took four, who took. You know, Florida, uh, I think that was an OT win ultimately against Florida, uh, scored 100 points. So Colorado clearly played two really good games. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I will, we'll see about this game. Six and a half point, fav- six and a half point dogs. So nobody harder than them. Right now. The pre tournament, darling. Yeah, I think for tonight, it's just Clemson and San Diego State. I think either, either Alabama or Illinois can certainly, uh, but both win against the, these matchups. So we're just in for really good basketball, I guess really good college basketball. Yeah. I think the entire rest of the tournament should be quite entertaining. I, I feel like this, ha- this has got to be as kind of chalky of a sweet 16 as we've had in a while for the most part, yeah, it's all like- the lower seeds that have been moving along. Yeah, it seemed like the first uh, the first day of the tournament was just like that first Thursday last week was just like all of the chalk. And then we got some update, uh, some upsets on Friday. But then as we got to the weekend, it really felt like, I mean, maybe there was one or two upsets, but there wasn't a ton of upsets. There was a, a lot of really close games. At, you know, the likes of Houston uh, on the ropes a little bit took OT. Um, but yeah, I mean, most of the chalk, I would say, has been hitting. And... Yeah, it should be should be really fun to watch. Um. Oh, you want to you want to talk a little hedging? Somebody who somebody who's no no a no hedge kind of guy. I, I had a I had a hedge opportunity. And not really, got? I guess. Not really a hedge, but um, I'm in a I'm in a Penn State guys bracket pool. Uh, this is a. $25 pull, you get two lot two brackets for your 25 bucks. I had one bracket that is in first right now, but Ooh, I've only got 148 points available. Purdue is my champion. And my buddy Raj is also tied in first. He's got 156 points available and he has Connecticut as his champion. This thing pays out five people. So it's pretty pretty high end or top end heavy from a payout standpoint. It's like a thousand seven hundred. His bracket and my bracket, I was pretty against hedging at first. This is this is my bracket, uh, my final four, Iowa State, Arizona, Houston, and Purdue. And then uh, the only I, – I have two Elite Eight teams that are gone. I had Iowa, and then I had St. Mary's all the way here to, to the Elite Eight. Both of those teams are gone. And then I looked at his bracket, 
and it couldn't be more different, honestly. Has Connecticut, Illinois, has Duke, NC State, has Duke, Tennessee, Connecticut, Alabama. Like, we are totally different. And mm-hmm. I was kind of just like, all right, I'll, I'll take a six. You're trying to chop hedge. it up with him? You're trying to sw- chop it up with him? Yeah, so we just swap 40% equities. We yeah. own... 60% of your own equity. Is it a big, like, honestly, is it a big bracket? Like lots of people. In it's it? like 200 people. So it's like a thousand yeah, bucks to first place big. for 25 bucks. So yeah, I, like, I think that's all right. solid. That's a solid play. What I didn't really like, I looked at our brackets and they were quite different. I wish honestly, they were a little bit more similar because like basically none, neither of us can get first and fifth or first and fourth. Yeah, You won't both so cash. No so there's no ch- there's no chance to like swap just you know some equity on both bra- or some cash on both brackets. It's either like he wins or he cashes or I cash essentially. Yes. So it felt after like this keep, weekend, uh, one of you will be totally dead. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they're so very different. I swap. I swapped forty percent. I thought it was a good swap. What would you What would you guys do? What would you do, chat? Anybody swapping equity out there? Uh, nobody can see this right now because it's so so freaking small. There we go. That's his final four: Connecticut, Bama, Duke, Tennessee. My final four: Iowa State, Arizona, Houston, Purdue. So I literally completely unique for the final four. So yeah, yeah should, that's should wild, wild. How different that is. Super wild, yeah. So yeah, we swapped some equity. We'll probably both end up losing. Neither one of us cash, and it won't matter. That's kind of what I thought. So I was like, oh, I might as well extend the sweat as long as we possibly can stay in the race. Might as well. I agree. Why not? That was a fun one. Um, taking a look in Discord here. Any final offers? Oh, we did cover. We did cover exchange and marketplace. I wanted to make sure we covered that. Low ask. Let's see if low ask is getting bought up a little bit. Oh, a couple. There's definitely been some buys. Uh, there's all completely different teams from when I looked. I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Low ask two, two gold for a Long Beach State, three gold. But you can spend about 15 gold and uh, secure five cards. Obviously, if you've got some eliminated cards in your in your account already, you only need to get up to five to do the exchange. And then the exchange, click those five cards in. Nine cost you 99 gold. Get a brand new pack, and this pack has four live cards. So if you're doing that, you definitely want to uh, definitely want to get get rolling. We got what do we got thirty? I think it is seven oh nine. Tip. Whoops, lobby here. Got thirty two minutes, fifty two seconds. Almost game time. Yeah, get make sure you get those lineups in. Get those last minute exchanges in. Decide to sweat the leaderboard in this one. I think it'll be uh should be a lot of movement from game to game, day to day. And I'm curious to see. I don't think there's gonna be a ton of overlap. Yeah, we talked I talked a little bit about this before you got on. I think what what's your high level take? Because I know we're gonna get into this obviously a little bit next week once we have our final four set. But one of the coolest parts of this game, in my opinion, is the first contest and the second contest should play super similar. So in contest number two, in this contest this week, I think you can learn a lot from that first contest and kind of, you know, gauge. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to go, you know, rogue here. You know, TJ, I told you guys this. TJ set his his all jokers lineup and he pretty much just went chalk. Like if you have the ability to go chalk, there's not enough cards out there that you have to worry too much about someone being unique. You're literally just trying to, you know, click on the cards that do the best and whatever cards you think are going to do the best. You can use a little bit of, uh, of the past to kind of guide you going forward without any worries. Now, when we move to next week's contest, TJ, it's going to feel a little bit more like a single entry DFS contest uh, or, or a single game DFS contest, like from a basketball standpoint where, there is certainly going to be overlap in next week's contest with, you know, there being three games. Uh, I'm interested in your take, uh, especially just given number of entries. We expect it to come down, but still should be relatively high. Interested to know what you might be thinking at a high level compared to the, the comparing the differences to this contest and the first contest with next week's contest. Yeah, I think next week there, there will be more differentiation. Um. 
next week. More need, more need to differentiate. You mean? Yeah, yeah. More. You want to think about it more. I could see like, I, I didn't look to see if people are like stacking teams. I think when there's less teams playing, it usually makes sense to stack more <clears throat> because you just hope that one game goes crazy and you hit all of the stuff in that game. I think it's unlikely, but you could stack people that are going to play each other like stack in final four stack from the opposite side so that people, I guess you would, you'd want to do that no matter what. So that's going to be the main, uh, yeah, that's going to, that's going to be the main thing next week is that the sides of the bracket that your teams are, you don't want to, yeah. you really don't have too many cards. Well, I guess you don't have too many cards that are yeah. guaranteed to be out. Right. right yeah. Yeah. Well, you essentially need five cards to play two games and you're going to need to be on two sides. Right. Yeah. You know, one, so one set of cards. It, it, it's basically the like the right. POC NFL playoffs. Right. Where you wanted your team to have one team from the NFC, one team from the AFC. It's going to have to be the same way next week. Yeah. I agree. Because you, you can't outscore a team in one game. Yeah. Another team is getting it's 60 not minutes of run time. Yeah. So in I 60 think minutes, no matter what, do it's nothing, probably not going to happen. Still outscore you. But yeah, that'll uh, serials will be important next week if you want to win. For sure. But also, there's still the hero makes it way different. I think. Yeah, I agree. Because you can have the same five cards as other people, but there's what five different ways that you could have the same five cards because you could have five different heroes. So I think that that is an impact for sure. Yeah. So yeah, that, that that'll be it's that'll a fun exercise. A, yeah. Completely changes the way you think about the game. Uh yeah. from contest one to contest two. Contest three just entirely different. Gonna have an absolutely different strategy that you would take to next week's contest. So I think that's a pretty fun way that this this format this format enables you to kind of think entirely differently, build entirely differently, play entirely differently across three contests, which is pretty, pretty cool. No doubt. No doubt. Chat. What else you got for us? You got questions, you got thoughts, you got comments. Hit us with any, uh, anything you're thinking right now. Got 27 minutes to lock. 27 minutes to lock. I'm probably, are you, you, you staying on here all the way to lock? I'm probably going to jump in the next. I'm one. staying to lock, baby. Let's go. You can jump whenever you want to, whenever yeah. you need to jump. You I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump shortly. So if there's, if there's any, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here and stare at this me. camera until lock, man. I love it. I love it. I'll be here. 657 in the comments. You out? Yeah, say, yeah, I'm probably say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say out. goodbye to the boss. Chad. Bye, everybody. The boss. Enjoy the contest. Good luck. <laughs> Enjoy the games tonight. Should be some good ones. I got. We got the 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 men's the own the moment men's league hockey team tonight. We got playoff game. So uh, we'll playoff hockey tonight. We'll see how that goes. So I'll be missing missing the late window of, of NCAA games. But uh, I kind of is it always like this where they only play at night during the Sweet Sixteen? I guess it is. But I was kind of yearning for some like afternoon basketball today. It would have been nice. Chat, man. This, this guy, this guy's on the same wavelength as me or what? We talked about what this. you guys talk about. Yeah. Is yeah, it well, always someone like in that? Discord? I, I, I think Caleb said this where he was asking the question if, if he were like he thought he recalled afternoon games in the second weekend. And someone, I think Justin actually said, usually they were more shaded towards the evening, which makes sense. I mean, prime time games, prime yeah, time. More people are gonna watch prime time. tonight. But it would have been nice to get like a 4 p.m. little matinee, little matinee action. Yeah, like you're, getting, you're getting you're getting overlap. A little appetizer. Yeah. But yeah, I guess more people watch and just like flip back and forth, watch Correct. multiple games at the same time. I mean, there's so many damn commercials in these games. You yeah. certainly can can watch two games at once, most likely. I mean, now can you focus on that? Or you got a little picture in picture multi-screen action. Yeah, they the love that. I, I was doing a little bit of that last last week. 
if you're like if the main thing you're doing is watching the games i don't really like the multi-screen but if you're kind of have the games on in the background i think it's a great way to just be able to look up see what the scores are how much time is left and then click into one game or just like put whatever one you want on the the volume so that you can hear what's happening yeah but I, I did end up doing the multi-view for for most of the time and then when games got into the final Two minutes. Four, four or minute. five minutes. Yeah, three minutes. Like then, then you you go full screen there. Yeah, for sure. Makes sense. All right, get on out of here. All right. Good luck, everybody. Talk to you later. See you guys next time. Peace. All right, chat. 25 minutes to go. What are you thinking? What what are we thinking? Neil's been messing around in these Top Shot streets, man. This guy's always cooking. This guy's always cooking. <coughs> pack sniper. Flipping packs. Is that is it been the way? I haven't I honestly haven't done. I've got one grail moment that I really wanted from a top shot standpoint in my account. So I was pretty happy with that. So just been holding steady, seeing what seeing what seeing what Top Shot does. Um, I like this pack marketplace view. All these packs are up. Freshman, freshman gems, fun one to look at. I know TJ looks at this on his Wednesday shows. Freshman gems, quick rips. Even hot packs are up. Ten bucks. Rookie revelation up seven bucks. Little undercutter here in the rookie revelation. Fitz Monkey, trying to get someone to buy this ten dollar pack for sixteen bucks. I like it. Quick click of buy. Take you over to the Top Shot site. The site just is so smooth, man. The site really is just so smooth. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's check out Jolly Joker site. 2035 unique only 5,000 jolly jokers in the world i think our account holds still a solid number of them several hundred so call it 2,000 out of 47 4800 that number keeps going up man number keeps going up i think floors around 100 bucks right now Hundred bucks to get your Joker. That price steadily rising from like lows of mid thirties. Saw a couple of people saying they were sniping Jokers in the mid thirties, either dollar cost averaging down or just picking up some cheapies. Saw some people that had offers accepted in the forty or fifty dollar range. They were super pumped about that. You love to see it, man. Jokers running around in the wild. Join our Discord. Lots of stuff happening over there in the Discord. A lot of chowder. Some wild talk today from uh, from our good buddy, the taco truck, man. Hoops. Hoops contest locked. The weekly locked yesterday, but hoops for free. My collection stinks, so I don't play much hoops. But only three out of your best seven finishes count. So play free hoops. As long as you get three three lineups that, that uh, th play three to seven days, you'll uh, have the same amount of scores that count 
for as anybody. So uh, day two today. 403 entries in there. Thousand bucks in dapper prizing up for grabs. Neil's got both slates up. He's got day two for today. He's got day three for tomorrow. If you're looking to just get your lineup submitted, get a placeholder set. Got the live stats all on here as well. NBA playoffs are right around the corner. Who's the who's the guy should be watching in college that's like gonna take the NBA by storm? Is there is there a guy? Somebody on one of the top seed seeded teams, I would think. But I don't know. I don't follow enough like college basketball and the journey from college basketball to the NBA, but it does seem like it takes a good bit of time for even top end one, you probably need to be a very, very top end player in college to even make it on an NBA roster. There's so few players on NBA rosters. Um, and it seems like even the top players, it takes a good bit of time to start to uh, play at that next level. Uh, I always say this. I used to have the take when I was younger that college basketball is more fun to watch than the NBA. And that's simply because I really only watched March Madness. If you're just watching regular college basketball and you're watching the NBA, it's almost like basically playing two different sports, man. The NBA is so much faster. Everyone's so much bigger. Everyone's so much better. NBA guys just so, so, so superior. So. Yeah. Interested. What do you guys think? KD with a game last night. What do you have? How many blocks do you have? Five blocks when his average is 0. 0.9. So yeah, he hit the bonus. So the play type of the moment here. Drives the scoring. You can see the average, and then you can see where that player sat above their average here, and that ultimately drives scoring. <clears throat> if you're interested in all the new site updates Neil did, put a nice little uh, modal here. Talks about all these updates. It's been out there for two weeks now, I want to say. Maybe even a little more than two weeks. And he's already cooking on a few other things. Always in Discord. Always answering questions. Added parallel support, and that was a big one. Changed up the true value. Get a little closer to what your moment is actually worth. Had a lot of had a lot of actual data, right? Sales data. So was able to make some changes there. Be a bit more pinpoint specific into what moments might be worth so that people aren't marching around or parading around over inflated values. And hey, man, do your own research as always. We're just a team that has the data, has the information, tries to put the analytics together so people can make as smart of a decision as you can. But yeah, it does seem like packs are at a minimum back on the on the top shot side of things. The one thing I wish was we could get the moments back on our site, man. When we had the moments back on our site, I just saw the moments so much more often because I'm looking around in the data and in the information. And as you're doing that, you get a chance to see how a moment is moving and what that moment looks like. You know, not all three pointers are created equal. Not all dunks are created equal. So I wish we could get that back. I guess that's why a series won those. Pretty important, ultimately. But if you're following pretty close, I'm sure you know which moment is kind of the, or your favorite moment, whether it's from your favorite player or favorite team. Uh, but on a given season of Top Shot, I'm sure there's, some moments that stand out ultimately, which is probably the coolest part of Top Shot. <laughs> All right, where are we at? What are we looking like? 664. We continue to go up. We continue to go up. 16 minutes to lock. I think I had a link. 
from Neil for last week's contests. Shout out to those of you that <coughs> were able to cash, top 50 cash in, score some gold, rip some throw packs. Hang on, let me find this link. Where is it at? Mm -hmm. I've got it here. I've got it here somewhere. There we go. There we go. Let's see what the spread was between the top prize, top score. 1079. We talked about this on Tuesday, man. And Mont Gum just crushed. Just absolutely dominated. One by 77.5 points. That Purdue assist, top scoring card in the hero spot. If you get the top scoring card, in the hero spot, look at that, 0.8% owned. Solo owned. Only 1% owned in general. Every card is so low owned in comparison to all the other cards, at least in this first contest. We'll be very interested in track ownership. Um, I think I did this. I might have did this wrong last time, but let's see. Ownership all. Tennessee defense, 4.8% was as high as ownership got. For points, 4%. For rebounds, 3.6%. For assists, 3.79%. And defense there, obviously, Tennessee. So defense even, even got high owned. And, and this just came down to probably spreads. Tennessee, big favorite. Only one by four. But, oh, sorry. Here we go. That's the first, that's the second game against Texas. Crushed the first game, 83 to 49. So that makes, that makes a lot of sense. But ownership is so low. I don't think you have to worry too much about, about ownership, honestly. Even in this round, I don't think you have to worry too much about it. Um, but I wanted to look at the spread between this and the last caching place. I want to say, didn't Vertigo, Vertigo maybe finish on the line here? Somebody finished on the line that we know. Stogie? Stogie finished on the line? What was in this throw pack? Stogie had so many of them. Look at this guy. Throw packing all over the place. Finished on the line for that 250 gold. Three points off. <laughs> Pretty ginormous spread, though. 854 cash line, gold line, if you want to call it. 1079 to take it down. 300 plus points. No, 200 plus points. Sorry. Any multiple cashers? El Jefe one. Oh, TJ Penguin must have had a couple of cashers here. El Jefe with a couple of caches. A lot of gold names. Each color on the uh, color of the name on the leaderboard equates to what tier JJ you, JJ holder you are this little crown indicates if you are or are not a holder and then uh color indicates what tier you are so shout out all you gold club members all the all-stars in orange hall of fame is a small group but Erster, we got Erster rep in the hall of fame in 11th Erster is honestly a great this guy i i don't know why but his name sticks out to me he's, he's up on the top of the leaderboards a lot great fantasy player I'm excited for this uh, this Sunday sweat, man. We'll see if there's as much mo movement amongst the leaderboard as there was in contest one. But Sunday was a little wild. It got a little crazy. Uh, I want to say TKZ man here was in first. Might have, might have been second, first or second. But it was like a slow climb down. And he, El Jefe had, what, what do you have here? UConn points and UConn assists going at the same time. They're one of the last games. And that was it was just fun to watch the rise. How far could you run up? 
the end of a fantasy contest is always the most chaotic and the most stressful when you're on the leaderboard and uh, the most fun to witness from the outside for sure. All right, 10 minutes to lock. We just hit 700 entries. Just popped up. Just popped up 50. We're going to hit more entries in this contest than we hit in the first contest. The exchanges have been firing. The throw packs. The throw packs were really fun, man. Some awesome throw pack pools out there. Reminder, throw packs will be back. They'll have all sweet 16 teams in them. They'll be 50 gold. And they'll be available after lock. So if you're looking to pad the collection for a low price of 50 gold and get a little bit of your gamble on for TOC Madness, you're at a minimum going to get cards that you can exchange for next week's contest. Next week's contest is out there and upcoming. It will be for the final four and the championship game. So it'll be three games next week two semifinal games, and then the championship game. <clears throat> Had a hot tip on a parlay for tonight's games. Are you guys in a state where you can bet or not bet? So wild these days, the uh, the rules about where betting is available and not seemingly keeps expanding, but um, still plenty of the country can't can't mobile bet from their phone. Clemson plus seven, UConn minus 12. It's still minus 12, minus 11 and a half now. Clemson down to six and a half according to ESPN bet. This bet was made on DraftKings. So this, the, the lines may be slightly different. Clemson plus seven, UConn minus 12, North Carolina minus four and a half. North Carolina State. Plus six and a half. I will say though, that sounds a little different than John Boy Beats. Let's look him up, man. John's been kind of crushing it. At least just following the tweets. It says we're now 33, 18, and two through two rounds of March Madness. 33, 18, and two is insane. Absolutely incredible picking against the spread. Clemson plus seven and a half. UConn minus 11. So he's got, uh, what do you have? Oh, this is two different than the one that I had. That's classic. Oh, no, no. This person has, this person put a game from tomorrow in. They had North Carolina State. So they're three for tonight. They're both on Clemson, both on UConn. And then John likes Alabama at the plus four and a half number versus North Carolina at the minus four and a half number. Alabama can score. But yeah, go give John Boy a follow, man. Always coming at you with the data. Good friend of the OTM community. Uh-oh. 699. We were just at 700. We changed their lineup. Someone hit a withdrawal. Let's see what's happening in the pack feed. Cool Keith. Cool Keith just gave it a rip. Iowa State points, Alabama rebounds, San Diego assist, San Diego State assist, Purdue defense. UConn points, San Diego State rebounds. A little tough when the team's playing against each other. Got no chance for both of those cards to move on. Creighton assist, UNC defense. Okay. Okay. Oh, this was Cuckless. Uh, this was, oh, you got to, okay. Arizona assist is pretty good. I assume, Cuckless, this was your uh, one, the throw pack that you won, I assume. So he scoops up an Arizona assist. Pretty nice. Where do we say Arizona assist was? I think it's pretty far up there, if I remember. Uh, maybe not. Where are we at? Where are you at, Arizona? Right past the... Scored 95. Cumulatively, right? Oh, no, that wasn't cumulative. 
Sorry. All users do that, right? Scored 180. Pretty consistent, 95 and 85 across the two games. Still way off the top, though. 180? Sheesh. Purdue assists really went crazy, man. 180 versus 260. Such a huge spread. 80 point spread. Where is 160 at? Or where is 180 at? How far down is it? It's a 180. Oh, it's not that far. Wow, that's crazy. Purdue assists really does this go absolutely wild in two games. Just su it built such a buffer. So that's what created the that's what created the win for Edmont last week. That's what created the win. I mean, this this card just went absolutely insane. Andy had it in the hero. 181 in that first game. Sheesh. Talk about a dominating performance. Moving the rock. Neil was in Discord. He liked Purdue. He liked Purdue to win. This is my winner in the uh, in the bigger poll that I'm in. Let's go. All right, all. We're getting close. Where we at? Four minutes. <clears throat> it was awesome being with you guys before lock. Get your lineups in. 704 in this contest. We literally almost hit identical amount of lineups into this contest as we did the first one. Enjoy these next two days. It gets a little slow come Saturday and Sunday with only two games a pop. But four games per day, the next two days should be fantastic evenings of sports. Hope your lineups run up the board. Hope your bets hit. Hope your brackets stay alive. Happy Easter. All, the, all of you that celebrate that. Hope you're able to spend some time with friends and family on uh, on Easter Sunday. I know a lot of families getting together, so it uh, should, be, should be a fun time. Enjoy that basketball. Enjoy that family time. The important things in life. Discord's quiet. Whenever we have games where everyone's competing, Discord gets a little quiet. T minus three minutes. USD Toreros just picked up a uh, Creighton defense card for 18 gold from J Talk 705. Literally just picked it up. Likes like must like Creighton over Tennessee or must have needed a defensive card to put somewhere. Any other rips? No other rips. What's the latest trades? Ace Johnson in a way eliminated card. Looks like this is off market. A little off market deal. I saw I saw Caleb willing to, to give away some cards for top shot moments. But yeah, trade feature is out there. Go to your collection, click trade. Able to search for any user. Create your new trade. Search a user. <clears throat> and you can send that trade offer. I need a coffee, man. I need a coffee. I'm feeling tired. Need tip and a coffee. All right. One minute. We'll be back next week. <clears throat> Standard show schedule again Tuesday. We'll recap the contests. We'll talk through the strategy of the championship contest, the final four in the championship game. 
payouts will always be going out as soon as we get all the scoring finalized on Monday. And uh, best of luck, man. See you all next week. Tuesday, like I said, college basketball show. Wednesday, Top Shot show. I'll probably be back next Thursday. What's the... Oh, no, it's going to be... Is it going to be Thursday and Saturday? Oh, no, it's going to be Saturday. So maybe I'll do a Friday stream next week. A little Friday afternoon happy hour stream. So uh, look for that. All right, where do we end up? 7.05 entries. It's locked. Best of luck, you all. Appreciate you tuning in. As always, click that Discord button down in the description. Join the community. If you have questions, comments, or thoughts, best way, best way to reach us is in there. Shout out to you all for enjoying the game, giving us the right feedback, letting us know what you like, what you don't like, what works, what doesn't work. Always important for us to be iterating on all this. So appreciate your all's time. I'll have to go get myself that coffee and enjoy this college basketball games. So without further ado, have a great evening. See y'all next week.